interesting news here from the uk regarding the cinemas and something that has been really intriguing me over this you know of course during during covid um we've seen loads of different business sectors being affected um in really interesting and sometimes brutal ways and one of them that's really been spiking my interest has been the effects on the cinema industry the effects on movies um, we've sort of always known or got the impression that big studios were very resistant or very hesitant to kind of enter into the streaming world, right? To kind of embrace video on demand. Um, you know, the introduction of Netflix kind of really ruffled some feathers. It kind of really um, put things into question as to the value. It kind of effectively devalued the cinema experience, especially for the general consumer who's probably not that bothered about seeing their movie on their laptop or seeing it in the screen. And essentially had to, essentially forced the cinema industry to have to innovate or maybe offer the customer more because, you know, of what's available out there via vis-a-vis -vis streaming. But it seems like, especially with this headline here, the cine world is going to cut 45,000 jobs because of COVID, that the cinema world is just refusing. They're refusing to accept the future. They're refusing to accept the realities they're living in. They're, got, they're trying to, you know, the, the, the movie goers and industry at large is trying to pull them into the 21st century, kicking and screaming, but they're just resisting. They just do not want anything to do with it. And it's very, very peculiar to see. So let's read the following article. It says as follows. Shares in Sydney World have plunged after it confirmed it will temporarily close all its cinemas in the UK and the US as it struggles with the pandemic-induced lack of new films to draw in audiences, including the twice-delayed new James Bond installment. 45,000 employees will be out of work because of the closures, including about 5,500 5, staff in the UK and 20,000 staff in the US, as well as contractors such as cleaners, security workers. Staff were informed of this on Sunday. The world's second uh, biggest cinema operator said it's 127 Cine Worlds and Picturehouse Cinemas and it's 300, 536 Regal Cinemas in the US world would shut from Thursday. Cine World share price plunged um, at the start of trading on Monday by as much as 60% to a record low of 15.6 pence per share. That was below the levels reached during the UK and US lockdowns in March. God almighty. The sell-off eased um, slightly after the initial trading was shared down to 27% 20, at 29p. The cinema industry has been caught between coronavirus pandemic safety measures in some of the world's uh, biggest markets, which have limited in audience numbers and a delay in key films that are being kept um, to tempt sorry, audiences back. The latest film in the Bond franchise, No Time to Die, have been rescheduled to November, but this week was delayed until until July, sorry, um, April the 2nd, 2020, a year later than initially planned. The industry was also rattled by the Disney decision to release its live action Mulan remake straight to a streaming service, bypassing cinemas. Cine uh, World said it was monitoring the situation closely as it waited for the distributors to plan the launch of the blockbuster uh, for that account for the large proportion of the multiplex sales. So, cinemas by and large from my from what i know they 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 usually rely on the sale of confectionaries of course and of course you know big studio movie releases that's majorly what they rely on so if you're wondering why you have to pay six pounds or five dollars for a flipping snickers bar it's usually because that's where they make their money on they don't make their money on ticket sales that much they usually make most of their income from the confectionaries and of course from selling loads of tickets for the big uh, movie sales because you know most movies so most cinemas that you go to especially if you've got friends that work in cinemas there's there's hardly more than 30 people in each screening on a random day of the week just watching a movie. But most of their income comes from, you know, Star Wars, um, you know, some superhero movie coming out and people are seeing it weekend after weekend, week after week, booking out some of the um, evening uh, screening times and essentially, you know, making them a bucket load of cash that makes you see them through throughout the month. So the interesting thing about this is that Sydney World is effectively reacting to the studios and they're saying that if the studios don't release their movies, we can't stay open. We can't justify being open because I guess with COVID and even if they do sanitize the rooms and they space people out, because they're already losing money during the week by not having the rooms full or the screens full, they're going to lose even more money by having the the screens have to be spaced out in a certain way to allow, you know, for social distancing measures to be um, uh, to be implemented. But the issue I have with this is that I wonder why they're not res they're so resistant to innovate or to adapt to the times. Because I would imagine it would be a far better um, idea to essentially have cinemas open, but have them open 
to serve a particular clientele that would want to see their movies in the cinema. Because as much as I know, I don't really care about seeing movies in the cinema, apart from maybe Avatar and some other big ticket numbers. I know there are moviegoers who exist who would pay f- to see a movie streamed online for a certain period of time, right? They, don't really have to, they wouldn't even have to release it indefinitely like Netflix. They could have it available for a, for a window, right? For six weeks, 12 weeks, however it may be. Then take it off the streaming platforms and then re-show it on, in the cinemas on its kind of original date of screening. And people would still pay for it. So you'd get double the income. you get the income of somebody watching it one-off um, via the streaming websites, right? You could even just have it just, you know, not even being a rental thing. Just like every time you stream it, you have to pay for it. That would be a, a pretty easy um, option and something that I would gladly pay for. And then, of course, you have the option of people buying another ticket when they want to watch the movie in person. I don't necessarily see why they don't do something like that. Um, Waiting for life to get back to normal so that you can show your James Bond movie um, to a packed out room. It seems a bit short sighted because there's no there's no guarantee that they're going to survive until they're going to survive, um, you know, until things get back to normal anyway. Right. Um, and there's no guarantee that things will get back to normal what within the year or within two years so it's it's a very very interesting side of it but again maybe it's a further indication of just how much money these people make when the cinemas are just open as per usual even if they're not even if they're not open even if some of the screens aren't full just the notion of them being open is going to change things but then again part of the issue that i have with this for me personally just looking from the outside which is interesting is that a lot of these industries are struggling and I think that things will just get back to normal once things open. There's a lack of, I think, um, acceptance that maybe people's attitudes and behaviors have kind of fundamentally changed forever. The same people that would have spent, you know, their weekends going to the cinema and going to bars and pubs. Now, because you've been restricted in terms of your movement and in terms of your ability to go to said establishments, it might just change what you do in a weekend completely forever. So for bars and restaurants or for cinemas as well, in that regard, to think that they can just reopen they can just hope hold on until stuff reopens and they'll be completely fine i don't necessarily think that's the case i think it'll be a big surprise for some of these establishments to see that once stuff gets reopened once we have a vaccine once people are you know once we have herd immunity all this sort of stuff a lot of people are still going to stay away they're going to be like you know what i'd rather not so this is a very interesting side of it to get involved in again um i don't know maybe i'm wrong in this um let me know in the comments down below there's um and let me know whether or not you would gladly pay two times to see tenant for something or to see the last avengers i would i would stream on my laptop and buy a ticket to watch it in person gladly why not